Hello, welcome to Mr. G's uh, art class. Today I start the first of a series of art lessons. Usually I start my classes with basics in drawing, like points, lines, planes, curves. But um, today I would like to start with a form of art that is called collage. Collage is not really a new term. It's been with us about 100 years. And Oxford Dictionary defines collage as a form of art in which various materials, for example, photographs, pieces of papers, and all, all sorts of the other objects, are arranged in a way and glued together against a backdrop, against a backing. A collection, also we can, we can call collage as an, a collection on related things, but we put them together so we can create a new composition. Another term sometimes used with the same meaning is called montage. They usually it's used in film and television but frequently also used in, in uh, art. The term collage is derived from French word collé meaning glue and that is exactly what we do. We glue the pieces that we cut from different sources and we create a new composition. And it's also a, a term that is actually marked by first by George Braque and Picasso at the beginning of the 20th century. So when collage began as a distinctive part uh, of modern art. Basically what we do is you arrange the cutoff shapes to create a new composition of visual art. You basically are trying to express yourself with shape. So collage is a visual is a visual language and I can go actually farther than that to say that collage actually is a visual poetry and cutouts are its words its words. Now uh, I don't want to get into the aesthetics and the theory of art maybe later on in, in further lessons but for today I want to show you a, a simple process of how we actually can create how we actually can create art by assembling different parts of mm, cutouts from magazine. Uh, here's an example. This is a stack of magazine. Usually I create my cutouts beforehand. Before I'm sitting and creating my collage, I already have the cutouts ready for me. And a good example is, is here is a container that I call it my treasure box in here. If you notice, there's a lot of shape in here. There's a lot of colors in here. So from here, now I have to tell you, some artists, they like to uh, start with a theme or subject in their mind. And based on that, they uh, start putting the collage pieces together. I usually don't do that for many reasons. One reason is I like to move around the papers against the backdrop until I'm emotionally happy with it. And I think that's where I'm going to stop. Another thing is that when you do it this way, that means not with a theme in your mind, you, and you put your pieces together, you get to a point that you get an idea that you didn't even uh, conceive before. You didn't even think about it. Okay, so from magazines, we get to cutouts in here, and then I'm just going to show you one, you know, one example. And here's an example that I have already created. Now this is what I call my sketch. That means I haven't done anything but put an idea against the backdrop. Now from there I have created this piece. This is basically my first rough copy of the painting. It's not finished yet, but if you, if you look at it, this is a translation of this sketch. And if I'm happy with it, maybe in the future, I would actually transform this into a canvas painting. Now, <coughs> this is also an example of collage. If you remember what I said about the montage, montage is overlapping some images together. So what I did in here, I put circles on top of circles on top of circles, and it created a kind of a collage. Uh, I wish you luck. If you have any question, if you have any comment, um, not just on this class, also on the future classes, future artwork, please let me know. I will respond to it as soon as I can. 
and I encourage you to be creative because creativity is the key to enjoying life. I wish you luck.